Hello again YouTube, Mad Dog here. Welcome back to my channel. So this video, just a quick one from me, another one of my bites videos, and I'm going to be showing you guys and lasses a little retake or a little trick or hack regarding this, the bowline knot, and a different way to tie it, which is multifunctional and can be used in different applications. Stay tuned. Welcome back. So we're over by my little bench area and I've got a short piece of cordage here um, just to demonstrate this. So we're going to go ahead and unhank this cordage. And to start with, with, with this little demonstration, I'm going to show you guys and lasses the conventional way to tie the bowline knot. And that's basically to take the tail end. I'm right handed, so I'm going to hold this in my left hand and I'm going to form an overhand loop like so and then we're going to use the little sort of limerick you might say just to remember how to do this so that's going to be the rabbit's hole and the rabbit being the tail end is going to come up through that hole so poke his head out there and he's going to go around the working line or the standing line and that's going to be the tree so the rabbit's going around the back of the tree and then he's going to disappear back down through the hole and we can pinch them two pieces together and cinch the knot down forming our bowline or bowline loop knot if you've done this correctly the little tag or the tail there should be on the inside of the loop so i'll show again just quickly I'll try and get this a bit closer so, so it's clear. A lot of people show this on the internet, but sometimes from too far away. So again, we're going to form an overhand loop in our, in our line. We're going to bring the rabbit through the hole like so. We're going to go around the back of the tree and back down through the hole and then pinch those, those two pieces together and cinch the knot down. So that's what we're left with. And that's the, the most common way to, do, to tie the bowline knot. It's a useful end of line loop or knot to know and, and remember, because me personally, I use this a lot when I'm up the woods. I always keep this in the end of my ridge line so that I can either attach a carabiner, go around the tree and, and click through the carabiner so it's a quick attach a quick detach ridge line configuration or i can go around the tree put the line through introduce a toggle and then cinch down onto the toggle which i'll demonstrate in a moment and that is a quick way of securing your ridge line to your tree which then becomes your your starting point for your ridge line Okay, so we're back in the garage and now I'm going to show you guys and lasses the second method of tying the bowline knot. But in this, this particular uh, method is utilising another useful hitch or knot and that is the, uh, the marlin spike. So basically what we do with this is we take our cordage or rope, whatever you're using, and we're going to introduce an overhand loop. We're then going to fold that loop against the ridge line and we're going to pull a loop through so we end up with with that and then what we're going to do then is to form this into a bowline knot or bowline knot we're going to take the tag or tail end and come around 
and through that loop and pinch them two pieces together like so just there and then we're going to take this the, the the main line end and pull it all down cinch it all down together and we have our bowline knot yet again as we all know the marlin spike has multiple multiple uses within the field so if you're going to do a bowline knot you can fold it over draw through uh, bring on your toggle and cinch down onto that said toggle and you know you can make ladders out of this it's great for securing um, all types of lashings with that a good tight way of anchoring down onto any application really that you may need to secure a toggle whether it's lifting a pot off the fire or making a hanger for around a tree for your kit or rucksacks or jackets whatever the case may be you can even use this for securing tent pegs and guy lines multiple multiple uses and uh, the beauty with this is obviously once you've taken your toggle out it all pulls cleanly into nothing so again that's just an overhand loop within your line fold it toward the main line pull a loop through itself like so and then you would in either introduce your toggle through there to cinch down on or to turn that into a end of line bowline knot you'll take your tail end go through that loop pinch it together on itself and then cinch down the main line to where your intended size of loop is and you've created your bowline knot the marlin spike incidentally can also be simply made quickly and easily into a slip knot so just cinch the whole assembly down and you now have a slip knot which you can then also use to tie around various items or make you know this can be used in in several trap applications you know whether it be a the start of a snare or something to carry woodage or to cinch down on bed rolls etc another little useful variation or application of the marline spike it's a good one to know good one to keep in the memory banks and uh, yeah well worth practicing so that's it for me for now um, a quick demo of how to tie the bowline knot and how to progress from the marlin spike to the bowline knot and in doing so you've bought one and got one free it's a great way of introducing more versatility into your field craft knot tying it's a very very useful pair of knots to know because both of them have multiple multiple uses within the field um, so i'm going to do a few more knots as i go along with this little series as time goes on i'm not no knot expert as you can see i'm not very um i won't say fluent in knot tying i just know a handful probably six or seven knots that i use regularly and often because they work they're easy to remember they're easy to tie they're easy to undo that's my sort of ethos is you know keep it simple stupid so i hope you find it useful if not entertaining and until the next one which won't be long take care of each other i'll see you soon mad dog signing off yeah <laughs>